Would you rather have Nick Bosa or Miles Garrett? And I think it's it's a complex question only because we have one year of Nick Bosa in the NFL, and that one year was special. It was fantastic. I mean, he was the best player in the Super Bowl. They, possibly. He dominated that game. He was phenomenal yeah, in the playoffs. Chris Jones, that, really good. Yeah, team. he had a special Super Bowl. He had a special playoff run. And you have, you know, Miles Garrett, who's had a couple years of consistency, a very, very awesome play. Who would you rather have? So I guess to preamble my question, because it's probably different than yours, but if it was for like one season, one game, you know, all that, who's just better? I'd say Miles Garrett. I wouldn't even think twice. But if you sat me down and you said, all right, you know, we're every team has, you know, zero players. We're doing a draft. I would be very, very, very um, likely to to take his contract. Miles Garrett. Yeah. I, yeah, you can look it up, but I would probably go with Bosa just for the fact that, yeah, we, he was injured last year and he does have injury concerns dating back to Ohio state. But if he, if he's like how he is in year one, I would take that guy for three years, dirt cheap, I guess two years, dirt cheap. And then one year, you know, he's fifth year contract, which is still way cheaper than Garrett. Cause I believe Garrett signed a $25 million a year contract. Um, or maybe, maybe it was 20 or something, but I would rather take the cheap guy who's probably 90% as good as Garrett than have Garrett at 100% of the cost. And yeah, sure. I think Garrett's probably, I, I, it's not uncontroversial to say Garrett's probably the best whole edge in the league. And I would say that, but Bosa's is in that top seven, six category i'd say around that spot you know you can argue if he comes back he could maybe propel the top five but um what bosa did in the postseason was special and i i put a lot of value in that personally just seeing you know against the best teams what can he do because it's you know that's what it comes down to in the postseason you're not going against the team you're not playing the cincinnati Bengals O line every week um in the postseason you are not playing against the Jets of last year or teams that just don't have the best lines. You know, you're going against um, the best of the best lines. You're going up against Tristan Wirfs. You're going up against David Bakhtiari. You're going up against, uh, you know, Trump Williams, potentially, you know, you're going up against the best of the best. And how can you perform when that spotlight's on you? And well, it looks like when he was in the playoffs and he was in the Super Bowl, I think he had over what, like eight pressures, 10 pressures in the Super Bowl. He had 12 pressures in the Super Bowl. That is unheard of. That is ridiculous. I'm taking him. Eric Fisher. Yeah. And Eric Fisher's, I wouldn't say Eric Fisher's like a top five tackle, but he's, I'd say, probably a pretty good starting tackle in the league. Um, So, yeah, I'm going Bosa mainly due to the cap space issues and the fact that he is really, really good. He's a top 10 D line. Let me ask you this. Take out injury. Take out contracts. We're just talking two individual players. Price is the same. I guess injuries is part of this, but just who do you want? Miles Garrett or I, t- I, I think I take Garrett. Okay, because that's where I'm at. I I take Miles Garrett, and it's I I hate to say it because I love Nick Bosa. I think Nick Bosa is the best football player in the 49ers. That's how highly I think of him. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's just top six to seven. I think he's a top five edge player in the NFL. Okay. The only guys I'm taking above him for sure are Miles Garrett, Joey Bosa, um, T.J. Watt, and then I think Nick Bosa is right there with anybody. He's there That's with Khalil Mack. He's there with Chandler Jones. So I think he's there with Cam Jordan. He's there with Zadarius Smith. I think so. But the reason I'm taking Miles Garrett is – so Nick Bosa is obviously the injury history, right? I mean, Miles Garrett is just 25, so he's only two years older than Nick Bosa. I think what separates Garrett is – uh, he's just a higher end athlete. He's got longer yeah, arms. Yeah. He's more explosive. He's faster. He's equally as strong. He's equally as, as good as in, with against the run. He's um uh as uh what's the word? He's he's not technically as good as Bosa with his hands, but he's close enough where his upper echelon athleticism to me makes that large difference. I mean, Nick Bosa is a guy because of those shorter arms and because that lack of top end, top end athleticism, Mm -hmm. he racks up a lot of pressures, but he's never had a 10 sack season dating back to his college days. Now that's not everything for a defensive lineman. You just have to turn on the 49ers. You don't even have to turn on the film, just turn on the TV copy and you can see how special Nick Bosa is. So you don't need the sack numbers to justify it. But that's what makes Garrett special to me is that he can finish those plays a little better than Bosa. And then, so in terms of the sacks, right, I mean, Bosa dominated the playoffs, which he did. I don't want to put that in quotes as meaning like I'm 
diminishing that. He did dominate the playoffs, all of that. But he's also playing next to DeForest Buckner, who's an all-pro player. Yeah, Eric Armstrong, cool. who's a very good player. And D Ford, who, when he plays, is all is a guy who's right around the top 10 edge conversation. I think Garrett has never had anybody special really yeah. around him. I mean, Sheldon yeah. Richardson has not been the same since he left the Jets. And here's what I think really separates Garrett. So you brought up the Bengal stacks and all of that. So a guy named Brandon Thorne, who I think is the best um, – offensive line analyst he's on twitter he does this thing every year where he watches film of like 35 40 edge rushers who have a lot of sacks and he judges their sacks in terms of big based on film so he judges them based on high quality so like the player you're going against whether you beat them one-on-one -on -one. because you know sacks where a guy runs around and it's somebody else got the pressure and he falls into you and you touch him that's a sack those kinds of things happen and miles garrett out of his 13 sacks last year he judged 12 as high quality the next yeah. number, person with the highest number of high quality sacks was TJ Watt with seven. TJ Watt yeah. with seven. So Miles Garrett had five more high quality sacks than anybody in the NFL. So, you know, we're judging between two players who are really amongst the best in the NFL. But I, I think that Miles Garrett, if we're if you're being objective and realistic, I know Niners fans are about to be so mad, but Miles Garrett is just a better football player than Nick Bosa, and there's nothing wrong with that because besides Aaron Donald, Miles Garrett might be the best defensive lineman in the NFL. Yeah, I'd, I think I'd agree with everything you said. I guess my my only difference on who I'd, when I take Bosa is if you factor in maybe age and cap space. But, yeah, I think Garrett is – I mean, you just think – you look at the rest of the D-line and you say, who else is worth throwing a chip or even doubling? And you say – Probably nobody. It's it's basically Miles Garrett is the D line for the Browns, and right. it's all the tension. It's basically you know double him, sometimes triple him, double him, throw a chip, and then you know hopefully one of the other you know lock up the other guys one on one, and that's just how teams can go against the Browns and um, pass protection. And yeah, I mean that's pretty tough when you're Miles Garrett I mean, and you're going against doubles all day. There's a reason nobody has signed Olivier Vernon yet who was the pass rusher on the other side of Miles Garrett. And this right here, this is just not true. And this is the problem when you only watch the Niners and Bosa was on TV all the time. Miles Garrett, so he only played 11 games as a rookie. Nick Bosa played 16. Garrett had two less sacks, seven less quarterback hits, and um, seven less tackles for a loss. It's pretty close. And Garrett did not play next to DeForest Buckner. Garrett did not play next to Eric Armstead. Garrett did not play with Fred Warner behind him. Garrett did not have Robert Sala as his coordinator. He had Greg Williams. So when you look at all of those things, Nick Bosa, like his rookie of the year, rookie year is one of the best rookie years we've seen from a yeah. defensive lineman. It was unbelievable. But Miles Garrett in seven in five less games, uh, seven less starts was just almost as good with less help. So I think to say that Miles Garrett is better than Nick Bosa, I think if you say Nick Bosa is better, I think it's just a little bit of just a lack of you haven't watched Miles Garrett. Like, yeah, or you haven't watched him because that's yeah. the thing, right? Not a lot of people get to watch the Cleveland Browns. And who was watching the Cleveland Browns in 2017 when they went 0-16? People, people trying to see if they would go 0-16. I think those are the people who are watching. 